Hey guys, Cole Bruni here, practicingdentist.com. And today I'd like to go over a simple concept that I think is gonna be revolutionary for a lot of dentists in our generation. Um, it's a great business strategy going forward and it's starting to really develop. And over the next 10 years, we're gonna see it become a huge opportunity for a lot of young dentists wanting to buy practices um, or merge retiring dentists or smaller, older practices into their existing practice or their hub. So two concepts I wanna go over. Number one is this hybrid practice purchase option. So when you, when you go out and you look and you decide to be a practice owner, you have a couple options. You can become a partner, you can join a bigger group, you can go out and you can buy a solo practice and be a solo practitioner and take over the existing practice. We call that turnkey, where basically maybe it's a higher end practice or a decent, um, well updated producing practice. You can walk in, keep the existing staff, some of the systems, and basically just change the name and take over and keep it running. Option number three is a hybrid, which is an interesting option. It's more difficult to do. And what that is, is where you purchase a, a practice, maybe an out of date practice um, or, or a decent practice that's updated. And at the same time, simultaneously roll in or merge uh, another practice at the same time. So you basically you could start up a new practice, make a new brand. You could even start from scratch. So start a new practice, start a new brand, Build, in, build out a new location while simultaneously acquiring a smaller practice nearby, rolling that into your new business. So that's what I call a hybrid acquisition or hybrid startup. So the benefits of that are you have, you have patience from day one, you have cash flow from day one. Startups are, are difficult because you're starting from scratch, you open the doors, you don't have any patience for sure scheduled to come in. You're gonna market heavily and, and it relies heavily, success of a, of a startup relies heavily on marketing so that you can get patients in the door and build and scale throughout that, that first year. But a hybrid is great because you're starting with a patient uh, in the chair on day one, you have consistent, you have predictable cash flow. And generally this transition is gonna have a lower uh, patient transition than if you were to, were to do a turnkey acquisition. Usually if you take over practice, you're probably gonna bet on 90% of patients sticking with the practice. In a hybrid acquisition where you're moving patients from one location to a new location, you might be 70 um, to 90%. So it's really important how you handle the transition in any purchase, whether you're buying a turnkey practice um, or you're doing a hybrid. Uh, the other option is a merger, and a merger is great if you're a, a young dentist who already has an existing practice, or it's an interesting thing to think about as a strategy going forward for a practice you may acquire. And what this is, is after you have your hub or your practice, your brand started, and you get this, the kinks worked out, the system going, a great strategy is to find a location that has available practices for purchase. One of the things that's going on right now is in the next 10 years, we're gonna see a massive, massive wave of retiring practices and a smaller number of younger dentists able to fill those gaps. When my dad, who is around 64, uh, graduated from dental school in the 80s, he had 140 students in his class. When I graduated about seven years ago, we had 100. So the thing to think about is who's gonna fill that gap? You have a lot of out-of-date practices, most of which are solo, that can't be purchased and run turnkey style because they might not be doing quite the production and the cost to improve was too high. So what you can do with those is find a location and part of your strategy in purchasing a practice should be find a place or an area that has dentists around it that are near retirement age that fit the bill as a practice you could acquire and merge into your hub or your existing practice. And that merger is a great strategy. So when you buy these practices and you merge them in, your practice grows. It's the cheapest and fastest way to grow your practice. The cost per patient is a lot less than having to go out and send mailers and incrementally build your practice through new patient uh, new patient marketing. So awesome, awesome strategy. And there's gonna be huge opportunity for a lot of dentists. So be on the lookout. If you're looking for an area to buy or build a practice, look around, interview, talk to the dentist in the area. How long are they gonna be practicing? Are their practices small? Can they not be sold turnkey style? If that's the case, develop a great relationship, roll them into your existing practice. With the hybrid, you know, you're basically um, it's trickier and, and all of this needs to be handled really delicately. So if you need advice on how to do this, how to transition the patients, what to look for, because you have multiple components, you have staff, 
that you need to transition or maybe not and you have patients that need to be rolled over and then systems incorporated with these new patients to make them stay. So great strat strategy, great opportunity, be on the lookout. We've got hybrid uh, startup technique or you've got this merger. So awesome, thanks guys.